Uh, thank you, uh, Deputy Speaker. When our country ratified the Rome Statutes in 2002-2003, we were not compelled by anybody. We did so of our own accord. And we did so because of our steadfast commitment to cherish human rights, to prevent <coughs> genocide, and act against those who committed such heinous crimes. All of this was known to the president and his executive. So when President Zuma's government gave, gave President al-Bashir an assurance that he could come to South Africa with legal immunity, it took an express decision to transgress the law of our land and international law. When the president and some of his cabinet ministers defied the order of the courts not to allow President al-Bashir to slip out of the country while it considered the case they acted in contempt and in di direct violation of the authority of our judicial authority. Now, al-Bashir, it is not our view that al-Bashir is guilty of anything. It is our view that he must go and appear before an open, fair judicial authority to hear evidence against him and then to to reply and prove his innocence. That's what we want. And that must be done because we should have asked, you should have asked those questions when we signed and ratified in this house. If you didn't want to, if we did not want to obey this thing, we should have taken action to, to, to then re reverse our commitment to this thing. This thing that's been done in the name of the people of South Africa is a serious crime. The leadership, President Zuma and his cabinet, and those who colluded with this thing, do not deserve to lead us. They have failed to uphold the constitution of our land. The oaths you made mean nothing. You lied to us, you said you'd uphold the constitution, uphold the law, and be the example. You have misled the people of our country. And now we are ashamed before the nations of the world. We don't agree with this.